If you live in Southern California, you've likely breathed in smoke from a wood-burning fire. Wildfires are an all-too-common reminder of how dangerous smoke can be, polluting not just our air, but our bodies. After only a few minutes inhaling wood smoke, the body will respond to the contaminants. Stinging eyes, a scratchy throat, a runny nose, and headaches can occur within minutes. But recent scientific research reveals the danger of wood smoke isn't just when there is a wildfire. In fact, growing evidence suggests we need to take a very close look at the medical consequences of wood smoke from all sources. So where is the risk the highest? One culprit, a very familiar sight in your neighborhood. That's right, your fireplace. Scientists are now raising several concerns about the problem with burning wood in a traditional fireplace and older wood-burning stoves. Colleen Callahan from the American Lung Association says it's time Southern Californians started learning about the very real risks associated with pollution from wood-burning fireplaces and older wood-burning stoves. Well, 25 years of health effects studies have confirmed that wood smoke can worsen asthma, bronchitis, and other chronic serious lung diseases. Children and senior citizens are particularly vulnerable to the health effects of wood smoke. Colleen, what exactly happens when the smoke is inhaled? Well, Jennifer, although wood smoke may seem natural, it's not benign. Wood smoke contains many different carcinogens, gases, and something that researchers are increasingly concerned about, microscopic particles. These very small particles can enter into our lungs and lodge deep inside the alveoli, the tiny air sacs in our lungs, where they can remain for months and cause structural as well as chemical damage to the respiratory system. Anyone can be at risk if they're exposed at any time of the year. Wood smoke levels tend to be highest in the winter when cold inversion layers can trap the smoke and the smoke can then drift into yards and into people's homes.